Today we'll be playing as the brand new killer Vecna. No! Yes. That's right, over here on the PTB, we get our first look at the new DND chapter coming out to the game and the new killer, the Lich or Vecna. There's also some survivors coming out, but we'll be focusing on the killer today with their unique power as well as unique perks. Make sure you strap in and grab a bowl of popcorn because this might take a while. Starting off with the power, as you can see, it's a doozy. Vile Darkness, we actually have four abilities. Mage Hand will either block a pallet or pick up a downed pallet for a few seconds. Then we have Flight of the Damned, which will send out five little skeleton boys, and if you get hit by them as a survivor, you will be injured, kind of like how Artist Crow works. Then there's Dispelling Sphere, sends out a sphere. If a survivor is in that sphere, they will then be triggered by Killer Instinct, and then Fly, well, you know, should be kind of self-explanatory. But when going up against Vecna, survivors can get special items from treasure chests. Some of these are the Interloper, when the Mage Hand is used, it will reveal the aura of affected pallets and give haste for three seconds. The Night Watch will reveal the auras of Flight of the Damned. The Archivist will make Dispelling Sphere visible. And the Sky Guard reveals the Lich's aura during fly and for a couple of seconds after. But amongst these items are also some special items that can be looted. The Hand in Eye of Vecna. The Hand of Vecna, when a survivor performs a fast vault into a locker, it will be teleported to a different locker on the map. And then the Eye of Vecna is when you do a fast exit from a locker, the survivor has their aura hidden and it gives them haste for 12 seconds. A lot to go in here, but let me tell you, once we get to these perks, oh boy, because honestly, no, they're terrible. These are actually really bad. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. So the first is Dark Arrogance. It increases the duration you are blinded by any means and the duration of pallet stuns, but you get to vault faster. Woo. Then we have Languid Touch. When a survivor within 36 meters of us scares a crow, they are exhausted for 10 seconds. And then this goes on cooldown for 20. And then finally, we have Attunement. When a survivor fully uses their item, they drop it. When a survivor is within 8 meters of a dropped item, they have their aura revealed. And when the survivor picks up an item, they will be oblivious for 30 seconds. So these perks are honestly terrible, but it comes down to just the power and the unique gameplay mechanics with this killer that I'm looking forward to. Hopefully we can get some nice games in, maybe test out that Mori a little bit, and just have some fun here on the PTB. If you had a chance to try out this new chapter, let me know what you think about it in the comments, and if you enjoy this one, we'll drop a little like on it. Maybe subscribe if you're new. We are very, very, very close to 75k, which means we'll have all of those adepts going for you, but hopefully you guys will enjoy these matches, and I'll talk to you in the first one. Alright, we got RPD. Let's see what we can do with the big Vec. Oh man, this is an interesting character. A lot of stuff in there. I will say, his perks kind of seem like shit. Uh, is this fly? Okay, we have to wait for it to come off the cooldown charge or whatever. Fuck! Motherfucker's playing a little, little ditty! What did he say? Hey. I mean, no ditty! All right, what is this? That didn't injure. Oh, okay, so I have the one where if I use the hand, it'll break in three seconds. And now you're dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. You hate to see it. That's funny. So I have the Vorpal Blade, which I believe if people enter the sphere I cast, they get broken. And if I use it on a the hand on a pallet, it'll break. And I also have it to where if I use the hand, I... The world may never know. Let's go ahead and fly. Oh, I thought you could fly through objects. I'm not even gonna lie. I just flew directly into a wall. Yeah, but they get, they get perks where they can, like, cast illusions. They get fucking gear. And I'm like, oh, I get a thing that makes my... That blinds me and stuns me for longer. Make it make sense, DBD. That doesn't make sense. Make it make sense. Let's check out the vault animation. Whoa! Okay, let's see. Let's go one of these. Oh, wait. If there's five here, they're pretty much cooked. Nice! Okay, so that thing looks interesting to go ahead and try to dodge out if there's five of them. I think you could run between. Let's try to actually use fly. I want to actually fly here. Er. Let's actually use the sphere. Are you trying to teleport away? Where are you going? Whee! Nice, you're down. They got injured. I think they got the... Is that the hand of Vecna? Dude, there's a lot of, lot of crap going on with this one. A lot of stuff. Okay, let's try to use the fly normally. Fly. 
It is a little hard to actually control, admittedly. Mm, yeah, where are you gonna go now, gamer? Yeah, you weren't ready for that, and then we can use this. Dude, wait, this is actually kind of sick. I'm upset. Louder! I'm upset! And, okay. The hitboxes on those seem a little strange. I mean, realistically, the all the stuff you get access to is kind of cool and being able to manage that. But the survivors also get some cool shit. They can teleport to lockers. Let me tell you, you're going to be getting noise notifications everywhere. Let's shoot the sphere. See if that reveals anybody. Look at that. Mage hand. <laughs> He's fucking dead. This is the PTB, as we know. I don't know if they can vault it while I'm doing that. I should go. I would run away, by the way. <laughs> Just saying. And we're going to be testing out the Mori, obviously. Ooh, we have Devour. Question is, does this go... Do these little dude boys go all the way, like, across the map? Okay, no, they dispel, it looks like. No! Don't do it. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. You're coming with me, and I'm gonna pee. The fly is the only thing that's a little strange for me. It's got some, like, weird movement. What are we doing here? What are we doing? <laughs> We're we're doing we're doing the damn thing is what we're doing. But yeah, the survivors they can stand still to see aura. You can create an illusion. Let me let me cast fly. Look at me go. Look at me go. Let's use the sphere. Send it out that way. Okay. Shoot these little dudes out as well. That doesn't hit anything. Thought somebody might get onto our. No no no. Oh, we're dropping? Okay. Well, I'm gonna pick you up. I'm picking you up and I'm bringing you- I'm bringing you out here. And I'm gonna do- I'm gonna do dirty things to you. I'm doing dirty, dirty things to you. Let's take a look here. My boy Ermac. <laughs> what, are you gonna blow a kiss or something? That is not what I expect. So- So- Nobody. They- so everything's gone. Does that injure? Nice. And if I use the- the hand, you can block pallets and stuff, too. I think it's just gonna be a matter of... Oh, I used it on that one. Unfortunate. Well, more of you as well. Under the desk, you can't hide from me! Get out from underneath there. Oh, I really like this angle in particular. This is the YouTube-friendly angle. Listen, I, I respect uh, behavior for, you know, trying to make sure we, we can get some monetization. All right, so we flying. Oh, they're doing gens. I wonder if we can send a sphere out through this wall, maybe, towards the outside. And then counter them by going this way. Okay, it doesn't look like I see them. I might have fun with this character. Don't get me wrong, the perks are dog shit. But the character... Fun. He has such a way with words. Hey, it's me. Uh, are you gonna? <laughs> Is that you gonna leave? All right, here we go. Give me your skin. I'd like to take his his face off. That scream is also a little. That's a fake. So does it... Does it go away if you damage it? Oh, okay. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and... Uh, should we close this? Let's close this. Let's just use the hand. So if I just use the hand randomly... Oh, yeah, I just get haste. Wow. That's kind of neat. I'm going to let this last person go as soon as they get onto a door. Just because it's the PTB and everything, but this is uh this is an interesting <gasps> Yeah yeah, play me a Diddy. Stop it. No, I I gotta stop saying Diddy. No, play it! Play it! Just... Hold me closer, Danny Dance. Oh you 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 want it? Okay. Alright, so you can take a look. It looks like they want to get moried. What What was that? Wait, is that something you can do? Is that when the last person's alive, you're allowed to do that? What? what? All right, we're on Borgo. 
The updated... Wait, did they update the map in general? What the hell? Is this Dark Souls or Elden Ring Tower area? Like you're in the beginning. Like when you're in the castle. What the fuck is this? Oh no. Oh, it's a whole ass new map. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Oh my god, this is so crazy. Oh, I didn't know that it was like a bra- I thought they just changed the lighting. What the- What am I looking at? Oh, you get ready for the, uh, the hand? Oh wait, let's try out this vault. Alright, not that impressive. What am I even looking at? Well, this map looks so much cooler now, but... Or is this just a- wait, no, is this a different version? Oh, this is the Forgotten Ruins. This isn't even the Shattered Square. It's a different realm. Ah, this means people are gonna take us to Borgo, which sucks. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. So I thought I would take Spies to work with the Crow perk, and then... I would take... Okay, I don't think that's gonna hit because they're slow. We also have add-ons that make our... Let's use the hand. Nice. Oh, right, they're gonna get teleported. No, they didn't get teleported. No, they had the boots add-on. I think you need the hand to actually get teleported. Yeah, we have Bamboozled to help with the vaulting one, and then we have Spies to help with the crows. And then we have something that just makes our cooldowns less, and when we hit someone, it further reduces our cooldown. Wait, that's kind of sick. You are kind of slow after, I will say, using fly. Tell me this gamer is just... Okay. Wait, this is... Basement? Wait, where did this gamer run? What the fuck? Yeah, that doesn't hit, unfortunately. Dude, this is so weird looking. Wait, there's like a portal? What the fuck is this, man? Wait, this is kind of neat. The map is going to be very hard to learn, I feel, but it's not. We're literally looking like we're in, like, Elden Ring. Oh my gosh. We're in the freaking Ranala, like, magic headquarters or whatever. Bro, what the fuck? All right, we have hand. Nice. How about you pick that one up real quick? <laughs> oh, I tried to get the angle there. Nice. That is... Wow. Okay, I'm actually a little flabbergasted at the moment. I didn't realize he had game like this behavior interactive. So you can you can choose to stop your fly. That's cool. Let's use the break animation. What the fuck? Gen break animation? Yeah, I have no idea where, where I'm gonna be going. Oh. There's a crow that got scared down here. Okay, Stevie Weevee. Yep, you're not gonna be able to do anything with that. Oh, maybe you can now. But, nope, I got him. Our cooldown's good. And I'm gonna swap over to... Oh, actually. We can vault into him. Super fast. Okay, no, he might be he might be the best gamer in existence. No, I'm just gonna wait till, till I get my hand up. Well, now he's cooked. Yep, he goes down. This guy's smart, though. I'll give him that. He's smart, but you can you really just shut down a loop with that. It looks like the... Oh, wait, the armors get, like, possessed. Oh, no. Um, sphere, maybe this way. Let's go out through here. Bro, this is such a cool map. Okay, we got a gamer who's around here. That didn't injure her. She's gonna keep running. Okay, okay. I don't think fly is really useful going, like this direction because you do have a large like cooldown after you use it there is an add-on that i think makes it better we're gonna use that right here block it with the hand is this guy gonna take the protection hit well we can actually reduce our cooldown even further it didn't down her okay which is weird i don't know if you can just crouch under them is that the play bro this gamer is just running I don't even think they know where they're going. Oh, wait, this is basement. What the fuck am I looking at? This is the truest hold W strat I've ever seen. Well, let's get this kill in. <laughs> Hello, no Steve. Good. We're getting a little, a little vibe in here. Apparently, there's two different Moris from what I've seen, and I guess it's based on, like, what stuff you're holding. I'm sorry to do this to you, Sable. It's a little messed up. It is. Yeah, that's so cool. All right. Let's cast Sphere. 
Oh, hello. Never mind. It don't matter. Upside daisy we go. This this shit seems so convoluted. Oh no, there's a hook right here. But wow, it looks cool. Like a magic institute almost. Oh my goodness. Can you go upstairs? You can't. Looks like you can go just down. Will this injure anybody? Nope. You kinda have to hit like directly onto them. It feels worse than it feels like the hitbox is like much smaller than a artist crow. Um sphere up i like that you can send the sphere kind of on an angle yeah see we got killer instinct over here are you in here i think just the navigation of this map is going to take a while to learn i like it though what do, what do we Ooh, we're about to fight a boss or something what the heck oh my chair of choice you won't be talking so much smack with this up your butt what the heck this is wild oh wait that's the hand Wait, we got tunnels? What the? No, this is this is crazy. I actually have no idea what's going on here. I don't really know how to describe it. Hello, sir. Is he gonna run through the gate? Yep, we're going through the gate. Let's see if this damages. Man, it's really not as good as you would think. Not as good as you would think. All right. I think this guy's dead. Might as well hit him with the Mori. Is this the... Okay, no, this is the standard Mori. I like it, Kudji. Like, this one is, like, simultaneously gory and not gory. Like, yeah, it's like, goodbye to your skin. Hello. <laughs> Do you want to be mori Oh, this is Recover Artifact. Lamau. So there's an artifact. These doors seem really good. I'll let this Steve go too because he actually seems like he was a a, a boner fad juicer. Like uh, up top, it looks like nothing special really. But once you go down low, it's like a massive like underground cavern. What's up, big man? You think we can damage him with this? So if he has both, does this mean? All right, yeah, you know, you can go. All right, you can go. I love that song. What is he? What is he throwing? What is bro doing? <laughs> Holy shit, man. He's trying to bring Lonely Island back. He's listening to Threw It on the Ground. All right. GG's.